Y'all give it up for Bryant Babylon. <laughs> All right. All right. Good evening, Bronzeville. I'm Brian Babylon, the Prince of Bronzeville. Right. Rep of Bronzeville for the bougie folks since 93. What's we can, up, Brian? We can buy a building for $10. <laughs> anyway, you ain't gonna believe where I went last night. I was at the uh, Final Four Championships for the female in college. <laughs> Dude, I think I'm gonna get some numbers up in that bitch. Dude, I have never seen so many hard leg ass, roughneck, MC light type of. Oh my, it was rough. They were so rough, I started to look like genuine up in there. I, st I started looking pretty. Shit. That must have been rough. Anyway, I'm one of those kind of guys who's like, on the outside, of course, I'm one of those like field niggas on the outside, but I have like a house nigga mind. It's just. It's crazy. It's crazy. But anyway, I mean, and growing up in the 80s didn't help. I mean, what kind of dark skin role models did I have? I mean, you had Mr. T. You had uh, Gary Coleman. Uh, Alf. You know, uh, Michael Jackson. I mean, Michael Jackson, I looked up to that motherfucker. I saw a dude in the mall one time with my daddy. I was like, ooh, daddy, he look like Michael Jackson. He's so cool. My father was looking like I was fucking crazy. He's like, why the fuck would you want to look like another grown-ass man? And he was, he was a Michael Jackson. Remember the Thriller video where he had the Letterman's jacket and he's walking the beginning of the Thriller video? He had that outfit on. That was what he wanted to... That's how he felt that day. Teehee. Anyway, I... I snuck behind my daddy's back and got a carefree curl. I um, I saved my allowance money. I went to that lady's kitchen, sat down, and I got that carefree curl with my own money. All right, go ahead. Independent as a short. Go ahead. You know, I had her put the two 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 rods going this way. She tried to put it this way. I'm like, bitch, you crazy? You had it like this so you can put it. So, I, I get home, wake up, I'm thinking I'm going to be like snapping my shit and just, my shit look like a whole bunch of wet ass tookie rolls. It was, it was bad. So, I, I went out, it was raining that day, I remember, like, it was vivid. It was raining that day and I was like, oh, hell no. So, of course, I put my bag on, went outside, and I, and I lived, I grew up in an affluent community where it was like a smattering of colors, and, uh, my dad pulled up, and uh, I'm playing tag out with the white kids, and I was so fast, the curl made me so quick, couldn't nobody catch me with the curl. And my father got mad, he was like, hey man, you ain't having a wet curl like that, man. You want your curl to be like Wilson Bisford Strokes, right? That's how we want your curl to be. All right, I see it. God damn it. I gotta go, Dion. The light, I'm trying to be respectful. Kevin White, you funny. Oh, keep going. Anyway, my dad told me the curl was unacceptable. Thank you, audience. So he tried to, that's SOB, tried to regulate my moisturizer before we drove into school in the city. So, you know, in the morning it would be the same routine, like, all right, let's go, man. Come on, shit, come on. If I was good, he gave me the full, like, shh. You know, he gave me the full, like, If I was showing out, you know, so, go. <laughs> Motherfucker. So then, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end on this dope. I'm videotaping. I'm, it's going to be on YouTube.com. Search Brian Babylon. Give me some hits. Dad, I saved my allowance money, and I had some moisturizer in my desk at school, nigga. Like, <laughs> I don't need your moisturizer pumps. I'm out of here. Brown Babylon. <laughs> Oh, man, y'all yeah. got up my nigga.
Go ahead, Brian. We're about to put me a super team together of just funny motherfuckers, dude. This is exciting for me, man. Y'all niggas gonna make me look so good. Well, I'm about to get a team together, nigga. Straight up and down, nigga. Just merch shit. I don't know. I'm trying to set it up right now, man. I'm trying to just catch and see what else I want to put on this team, man. But yo, nigga, so he, he, he knew too, y'all. He knew, like, you know, he, he been doing it, but, you know, he fairly knew. Nigga, that curl shit, nigga. Damn, I'm not thinking, nigga. I swear. That shit was funny than a motherfucker. If I was good, you'd be like, shh. Come on, nigga. Come on, nigga. All right, nigga. I'm about to come back next week with some John Blaze, nigga. Right? That's what I need. I need to be inspired to write. When I see niggas do shit like that, it make me want to just go home and just come back with just murder ink shit. Just, no, not murder ink. Uh, something deadly and murder, something like that. <laughs> I said murder ink. That's fucked up, nigga.